Hi, I'm Dr. Ina Stevens. I'm an associate professor at UVA's Medical Center in the Department of Pediatrics, and I'm happy to be here today as part of uh, UVA's Club Red Heart Month. And today we are going to talk about stress, everyone's favorite subject, and actually stress reduction. Stress whether it is a real stress in your daily life or even a perceived stress, actually can have the same effect on the body. It causes the autonomic nervous system to go into what we call sympathetic overdrive. And sympathetic overdrive is what revs up our system to respond to that stressor. Well, in our daily lives, we tend to be stressed or busy or on the go a lot. And our society tends to live in sympathetic overdrive. So stress reduction techniques that I'm going to talk about today, including deep breathing, mindfulness meditation, maybe some mindfulness movement or some yoga exercises, can all help to bring the autonomic nervous system back into balance by increasing your parasympathetic tone, which quiets down your nervous system. It can help decrease your heart rate. It can help increase heart rate variability, which can help your heart respond to those outside stressors that I was just talking about. And it will decrease that sympathetic tone and keeps your body more in a place of what we call homeostasis. So whether that stress is happening to you or not, your body can actually respond appropriately. So how can I do these stress reduction techniques, you're asking me, when I am a very busy person? I work all day long, I am always on the go, I may have a bunch of toddlers at home that are keeping me very busy. How can I put this into my day? So I wanna give you just a few techniques that you can use that may really only take you five minutes. And even that five minutes of doing some stress reduction activity or stress reduction techniques can really work. So for example, let's say you have a very busy day and you know that you're not gonna have any time in your day to get any stress reduction in, well, you can start your morning out maybe just five minutes early. Set your alarm clock five minutes early, and then when it goes off, stay in bed, take a deep stretch, maybe reach your arms up over your head and your toes all the way down to the base of the bed. Take some deep breaths in and take some deep exhales out. Maybe just even count to 10 while you're taking that deep breath in and exhaling it out and doing maybe five of those breaths. That's enough to really quiet down your nervous system so you can get up and start your day maybe a little bit more on a de-stressful way or a de-stressful kind of uh, feeling to start your day. What about during your day? What about if you're a busy you know, practitioner or you're in a busy office and you're running from room to room? Well, maybe as you're exiting a room, as you're reaching the doorknob, you can kind of say, wait, I need to take a deep breath and take maybe four or five deep breaths. Again, inhaling and slowing down the response with a long, prolonged exhalation before you actually open that doorknob and enter in to see your next client or patient or whatever you're doing in that next room. Just taking that little five minutes right there can make a big difference. What if you're a very busy mom and your toddler is on the floor having a crazy temper tantrum? Well, you could either get all excited with them and have a crazy temper tantrum too, or you can look and quiet yourself down and take a couple of deep breaths. And I wouldn't be surprised if your toddler actually picks up some of that quiet feeling that you're doing and starts to quiet himself down as well. So it can help both you and your child. You can even do these kind of techniques when you're driving in a busy traffic jam. You could stop at a red light and instead of getting really annoyed that you're at a red light and that you may be late for your next meeting, you can look at that red light as a vacation time. That's a two minute opportunity to take a couple of deep breaths, quiet yourself down and de-stress. So these very simple stress reduction techniques can fit into your day and they can make you really work on just being mindful of where you are during your day, where your body is, and quieting yourself down. I hope this was helpful and I hope you can all take these stress reduction techniques with you on this great heart month. So thank you all for your time.